Hey there, this is Chetan and welcome to CRNT Designers. In this Blender tutorial, we are going to learn to create this kind of mechanical arm design. We are not going to create this design with the perfect dimensions. We will try to understand how we can create this design with a sub demodeling method. So without further ado, let's get started. To create this design, you need to add a cylinder and I will go with the 24 words. And then you need to scale down this cylinder along the z-axis in this way. And that looks pretty well. After that, you need to select this top and bottom faces and use the insert operation add there in this way and give the proper thickness 0.25 that will be fine. Then delete these faces. Then select this top and bottom edge loop and use the right click breach edge loop. You will get this kind of ring. After that, shift D to duplicate this ring and move it along the x axis in this way and scale down this along the x and y axis, not from the z axis. Now you need to create the joining part in between these two rings to create this complete design. To create the joining part you need to add a cube and then scale down this cube in this way along the z-axis as like this and now scale it along the x and y axis and give the position at here. And then you need to add center loop cut on it then turn on the x-ray mode and then select these words and then move these words along the y axis and x axis and try to give the position like this. Now you need to just try to create that center joining part so that's why you need to adjust the position of the words in this way. And that part is a little bit curved so that's why I have added the center loop cut add there. You can turn on the wireframe mode and just try to match the position of the words properly add here. So we can easily merge the words add there and we can connect these two parts together. Then apply the scale on the object and then set the origin to the geometry and then shift D to duplicate it and move it along the Y axis as like this and create the bottom side of that joining part and same thing just need to match the position of the words properly and you can follow the process at here then select both the objects and apply the scale then you can add more loop cuts like this and just try to create the curve form at there so that's why you need to just adjust the position of this edge loops a little bit so you can get a decent looking curve form if you want to use the background reference image then you can use that. So you will get a better guide at there while adjusting the position of these edge loops and to get that proper curve form at there. Then you can select this edge loop and you can use the set flow at there so you can get a good edge flow at there with the edge flow add on. Then select all these objects and use the boolean operation union. Then apply this boolean modifier and then delete this cutter objects. Now just need to merge the words properly at here. So you can get a decent looking design and that's not difficult. So select the words and then merge them properly. If there are any double words, then try to merge those words on the edge of that cylinder. So you can maintain the cylindrical form at there and that's very important. I have just fast forwarded the process. Okay. Then add a few more loop cuts out there and try to create a good topology. Just try to create a good topology. Topology, topology. I have just fast forwarded the process. Okay. Then set the origin to the geometry and snap it to the 3D cursor. Okay, and then take the symmetry along the z-axis also. And then you can hit the control 2 to check the subdivision and it looks decent. We need to add more supportive loop cuts to maintain that form. But before that, I just want to create a curve form at there in these corners. So for that, you need to select this corner edge loops. And then control B and add a bevel on them. I have added a two segment bevel add there and give the proper bevel width. And now you can see that looks really well. Just we need to create a good topology add there. And that's not a difficult task. Just we need to select these words and then merge them at the center. And you will get a chord add there in this way. Just adjust the position of the words. In this way easily you can create topology add there on the model. And that topology is also chord based topology. So you don't need to worry about anything. You will get a good shading on the model. Then take the symmetry along the z-axis as like this. Then you need to select the sharper edges and then deselect some edges on which you don't want to use the bevel. 
After selecting the proper sharper edges, just use the Ctrl B and add bevel on it. Add a 2 segment bevel add there and shape factor should be 1. And easily you can create this kind of supportive edge loop structure add there for your design. You can check the shading from the matte cap view. And you can see easily we have created this kind of mechanical arm design. That looks really well. You can add more details on it if you want. So just I have tried to add more details on it. And this kind of details are not so difficult. Easily you can add this kind of details. In this way you can create this kind of design with a sub modeling method. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then please hit that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Bye bye. See you in the next video. Take care.